This is not a- the XFL. Hey everybody, this sneak preview of This Is Not The XFL Show is brought to you by Pretty Easy Podcasts. If you've ever thought about doing a podcast but did not want to do all the technical stuff, you have a great idea, you have a passion, you want to do a show, you maybe don't have the time, you need someone to help you, go to prettyeasypodcast.com and get started today. Of course, the full episode of this show is on Patreon. Give to our Patreon on any tier of your choice and get all sorts of extra XFL content and, of course, a whole lot of football talk, all the football talk you can handle. Check it out. No. You know, going into it. No, I would. I, I, don't want, I don't want Clemson and Alabama again. I want Alabama and Oklahoma more than anything. That I don't. You can't touch it. It's it's hopefully destined. But that, we'll that's a great yeah. That's a great matchup any year. But just with uh, the quarterback dynamics, it's a great you know. It's a great story. Hopefully, it's a it's a nice slow burn. Side that's note. Nice. Side note. I was reading a, a little Action Network, and uh, you know the most expensive ticket. So going into this season, what it will be the the highest priced game of the college football regular season. Regular season. Um, oh, Alabama at some other SEC school? No, maybe? no, it's going to be Georgia and Notre Dame. Is this in the South Bend? I think this is going to be or is it a neutral site. Or this, a... I'm pretty sure this is in uh, Georgia this time around because they've already played in, in the, South Bend. In the yeah, Georgia that's in, it's at it's at Georgia. So okay. that's going to be on mark your calendar. Uh, September 21st in Athens. Highest price ticket, highest price game of the season. I really wouldn't have guessed that. I mean, it's a good game, and that was a good game a couple of years ago, but uh, I wouldn't have guessed that at all. I guess well, Notre Dame comes with a high price tag. Yeah, you know, two really uh, – high, high price tag and tons of disappointment for Notre Dame. That's what they come <laughs> with. If anybody has a good season – uh, or an exceptional season for Georgia, uh, you know, they may very well block up the Heisman Trophy if they can win there because, you know, like, like Vince says, you've either got to play for Notre Dame or beat Notre Dame. I, I just I can't believe we live in a world where everywhere else you got to be near perfect to, to, win, to get where you need to get <laughs> in college football. And at Notre Dame, you just need to be sort of okay. And you're going to get the benefit of the doubt. Still, in 2019, we're still... Unfortunately, that's, that's still the rule. We're still thinking of this team in, like, you know, Newt Rockney's there. Okay, we're getting on a tangent. I have plenty of negative things to say about Notre Dame uh, as we get closer to kickoff in uh, late August, September. Let's go on to our uh, big topic of this week outside of the XFL. Even though the XFL, right now, I'd say... This week, all the football I've been he- talking and hearing about is XFL. Jake, with the showcases coming up and coordinators getting hired, it, it, we we said the dead season would be all XFL. It's been, but there's been some little tidbits, and now the rumor and innuendo is starting around the NFL, and that's what we'll get into with this week's targeting. I got a good luck. Firing. Put it up. The CBA coming at the end of the 2020 season, Jake. And topics that will be considered by the Players Association, the owners, are going to be 18-game season, more playoff teams, and a more relaxed marijuana policy. Let's attack this this way. If you could guarantee one of those three changes to the CBA could occur and pass, which would it be? Uh, if I have to pick one, unfortunately, I would say the 18-game season. You would want the 18-game season over no, a I No, I don't want – I really don't want any of those to pass. I thought I was just guessing which has the highest probability of passing. No, no. I want you oh, to oh. get – you get your choice. Jake – you it, get, it, one one of those three, this, if, this, if, the, if I'm the last vote. There's a Jake clause in the CBA after the 2020 season, and they go, Jake, you get these three options. I, put one of these into the CBA. What are you putting in there? I don't support any of them, but I, I feel like the uh, 
the least detrimental, although it's very contradictory to my personal beliefs, is the the lax marijuana policy. Yeah, you've been really. Uh, I know you've been really uh, brainwashed by the alcohol lobby. So you are very anti weed, but of course that's got to be the number one. I mean, it's a it's silly how you it, can't have players getting suspended over something that's legal in most states now. Not most, but a lot of them. Is it, I was going to say most states. I, a I, lot of them, and before you know it, all of them. It's ha- going to happen. So well, you you look the the players. They don't want the eighteen game season. That, Who does? For, Do the for fans? The owners, the owners the and fans? the networks, I think. Do the fans want that? I guess if you're like a super hardcore they, fantasy person, that adds a week of fantasy if, football to. to I the think league. if if you don't support a club, you probably want the eighteen game season. But anyone that's thanks for listening to this preview of this is not the XFL show. To get the full episode, please join our Patreon. You'll get this show each and every single week, plus all of our other bonus content. We have all the football you can handle right there on our Patreon page. This is not the XFL show is a production of Pretty Easy Podcasts. Go to prettyeasypodcast.com to get your own podcast started today.